In this presentation, we will take a look at company preferences related to items and inventory. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in the Home tab. We're going to go up to the Preferences. Once again, we're going to go to the drop-down. If this is not open already, in the Edit drop-down, and then go to Preferences. So Edit, then Preferences. Last time, we were on the General tab. I believe we're going to go now to the Items and Inventory. So we're going to Items and Inventory. We have two tabs. Once again, the My Preferences and the Company Preferences. Nothing in the My Preferences, so we will move on to the company preferences within the company preferences we have purchase orders and inventory we got the inventory and purchase orders are active the default here is no and we're going to turn on the purchase order so remember that we are a merchandising company and we could be just buying and selling merchandise and not having a purchase order if we are a larger company then oftentimes we'll have the purchase order and the purchase order what it does is basically it has a relationship with our vendor who we buy inventory from it's a request to buy the inventory it doesn't actually have a journal entry related to it once they give us the inventory then we connect the purchase order to basically the bill that we will have for the inventory so typically a purchase order is something that will be used for a larger type of company uh, that, that will have this relationship in which we'll have a purchase order, we'll receive the inventory from the vendor typically before we actually record the inventory or pay for it. Uh, if on the other hand we're paying for the inventory uh, before we receive it, we may not have the purchase order because we, for example, if we're paying for it at the time that we purchase something, we buy something say online and pay for it at that time, then we wouldn't really have the purchase order. The purchase order would be there if we were having the inventory shipped to us before we pay for it. We're actually getting it, receiving it, checking it, and then processing the purchase order. So we're going to turn it on for our problem so we can see how they work. So we're going to have that on. Then we're going to have these two defaults, which is a uh, warn about duplicate purchase order numbers. Always useful because the purchase order numbers will be in order. It's going to be pre-numbered. And if we have two numbers of the same purchase order or two, two numbers that are different purchase orders, that have the same purchase order number, then that's typically a problem. So that's gonna be a, an internal control that would be useful to have on. Warn if not enough inventory quantity on hand to sell, also gonna be useful to have. It'll give us an idea, a warning, uh, if when our inventory is low and we, when we have the, the purchase order uh, warning if we don't have enough inventory on hand for the selling. So we'll keep those two as the defaults. Once we turn this one on and make sure to do so because we will need those purchase orders. So make sure to turn this one on as we go through this problem. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.